All right, let's talk about what's called expected value. <clears throat> By expected value, One way you can think of this is um, is this one. <clears throat> Let's say, <clears throat> and we'll do this one <clears throat> here in just a second. But Let's say I was going to roll a die a thousand times. I didn't have much to do that day, okay? <laughs> but <clears throat> what the expected value tells you is what value you would expect to average if you did that a lot of times. That's what expected value is. It's without having to actually roll the die a thousand times, it will tell you what you would expect to average if you rolled the die, in my example, a thousand, ten thousand times, okay? What you expect to average. So that's what expected value is. It's a long haul average. Kind of the <laughs> little expression for it. That's what it basically, it's what you would average if you went over the long haul, rolled the die thousands of times or whatever. We'll uh, talk about this in the context of games. It's what you'd expect to average if you win, uh, played the game so many times. Okay? Here's how you do it, though, to calculate it. Like I said, we're not actually going to roll the die a thousand times. We're just going to calculate this based on <clears throat> uh, some calculations here. The expected value, the way you calculate it, <clears throat> expected value is calculated by <clears throat> multiplying all the uh, x, going back to the probability distribution now, you multiply all the x's by their p of x's and add them together. Here's what I mean by that. For example, if I have x and p of x, uh, that's my example. I want, well, let's just, it was 1, what was it, 1 and 1 fourth, 2 and 1 fourth, and 3 and 1 half. <clears throat> Remember that? I did that example, probability distribution. So the expected value is calculated by multiplying all the x by their p of x's from this probability distribution and add those together. So here's what that means. Expected value for this one we're going <clears> to, <throat> for obvious reasons, hopefully anyway, we're going to denote expected value as e parentheses x, expected value what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each x and multiply it by its p of x. So I'm going to do 1 times 1 fourth plus 2 times its p of x, 1 fourth, and then 3 times its p of x, 1 half. <clears throat> so what that will give me, that will give me, uh, well that being 1 over 1 be 1 fourth, that will be... 2 over 1, so that would be 2, uh, two fourths, and that will be 3 over 1, so it will be 3 halves. If we add those together, <clears throat> here's what I get. 1 fourth plus 2 fourths. Oh, and this one needs to be fourths, doesn't it? So that would be uh, 6 fourths. It uh, would be 9 fourths. If I just get a common denominator there. 
See what I did there? I just, you don't have to do this, but <clears throat> I just multiplied uh, that by 2 and that by 2. So it's 6 fourths, that's 9 fourths. That's my expected value. That's how I do it. Multiply each x, get your probability distribution and multiply each x times p of x. It's called the expected value. Okay? So let's do a couple of these from, uh, I gave you the probability distribution there, so let me do these from, uh, a couple of these from scratch. Well, let's just, let's do the rolling, rolling of the die problem here. <clears throat> what is the expected value when rolling a die? What is the expected value when rolling a die? Like I said, we're starting this one from scratch, so if the expected value, I multiply each x by p of x, wouldn't it stand to reason here I want to start with, first of all, we need to do the probability distribution. So we want to <clears throat> do our x, uh, and that was just that table of x and p of x values. This one was a pretty easy one, right? For the x, I just do all the possible values. When I'm rolling a die, what are the possible values? 1 through 6. And then what's the probability of 1? 1 6. What's the probability of 2? 1 6. Yeah, same all the way down. Okay. All these are 1 6. Okay? However, I want to know the expected value, so step two is, you know, do your expected value here. How do I do the expected value? E of x. Well, you multiply each x by p of x. I'm going to multiply 1 times 1 sixth, 2 times 1 sixth, 3 times 1 sixth, 4 times 1 sixth, so on and so forth. multiply each one all the way down and add them together. What does that give me? Well, 1 times 1 6 is 1 6. 2 times 1 6, and I'm going to go ahead and not reduce it, that would be 2 over 6, wouldn't it? 3 times 1 6 would be 3 6, 4 6, 5 6, and 6 6. With me on that. I just multiplied because those are over 1. You multiply them, so you multiply this will be 3 times 1 over 1 times 6, so it's 3, 6. 4 times 1 over 1 times... Okay? And now we add them, so that's why I didn't reduce them, because they all have now have uh, common denominators. So what do we got? 12, 20, 27, 6, which that reduces to B by 3, B 9 halves. But let me go ahead and put this as a decimal. What is 9 halves as a decimal? Um, did I mess up? I think I did because that, that's not right. <laughs> 21 out of 6. 6, 10, yeah, 21 over 6. I don't know how I got 27. I added, I think I added something twice. I don't know. But anyway, 21 over 6, which reduces to be 7 halves which as a decimal is 3.5. Yeah, that sounds more, more right. Okay. 21 over 6, which is 7 halves, but let's take it to 3.5. Now, expected value is 3.5. Notice one thing about it is that's bigger than 1. This isn't a probability. This is not a probability. Expected value is not a probability. So it can be bigger than 1. It can be negative. It can be between 0 and 1, but it's not a probability, so this is okay. This is okay. You can't have expected values bigger than 1. You can have negative. What this means is this is what we would expect to average if we rolled the die 1,000 times, 10,000 times. 
That's what we would average. The average of our roles. Which makes sense, doesn't it? Because if I roll it a thousand times, I'm going to, if it's a fair die, anyway, I'm going to expect to get most of these about the same amount of times. So that would mean, yeah, the average is going to be somewhere right in the middle, which is three and a half. So that one, that's what it means. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try another one. Let's say I do this. <clears throat> we'll uh, do games a lot on these, so let me get, get to those. All right, say two coins are flipped. We win five dollars if both are heads. We lose two dollars if they are not both heads. <laughs> what is the expected value of the winning? What is the expected value of the winnings? Or shortened, what are the expected winnings? Okay, but it's the expected value of the winnings. Okay. <clears throat> All right, well, what's our first step? Our little table. Probability distribution. Now, if we're talking about a game, my suggestion to you is for your X, let X be the winnings or losings. Okay. What are the uh, what are the possible winnings here? Well, I could win five dollars. So that's one of my X's. What else is an X? I could lose two dollars. So what do you want me to put for that? The negative two. So here, <clears throat> X is the winnings, possible winnings. Okay, now I need to know probabilities. What is the probability that I win $5? Well, the probability I win $5 is the probability that I do that, right? Both heads? What's the probability that it's both heads? Well, again, if you want to write it out, heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, tails, tails. So what's this probability? Well, it's the probability both are heads, one fourth. What's the probability I lose two dollars? Well, it's the probability that I don't get both heads. Three fourths. Three fourths. Yeah. With me? Five is one fourth, negative two is three fourths probability. Because this is the probability I, I don't get both heads. Three of them. I would lose $2 here, here, and here, right? So three out of four times I'm going to lose $2. Okay, <clears throat> but that's not the uh, question. The question was, what's the expected value of the winning? So how do I do that? Well, once I get the table, just multiply five times one-fourth. Then multiply negative 2 times 3 fourths. See what I get. That would be 5 fourths plus negative 2 times 3 fourths be negative 6 fourths. What's that going to give you? Negative one, negative 1 fourth. That's what I was saying. Expected value, you can get negative values. Here we do. Okay, yeah, what does this mean? This is the expected value of the winnings. This would be the expected winnings we would expect to, to uh, have if we played this game a lot. 
we would expect to average losing one fourth or point two five dollars. Negative point two five dollars. We lost two dollars, we win five dollars. But this is what we'd expect to average, which brings up another point. Yeah, this number, am I ever going to lose a quarter? No. I lose two dollars or I win five dollars. But this is an average, right? Your average doesn't have to be one of these numbers. It won't be one of these numbers, usually. Yeah, this is what we expect to average. Like if I played it 50 times, I would expect to average losing 25 cents each time. I'm not going to lose 25 cents ever, but on average, that's what I would. So I would expect to lose that much per time on average. Okay? So it's a little different, but that's what it means.